In this video, we will be going through the configuration of a Profibus Master for Compact Logics. We will add the ILX69 PBM Profibus Master to the L36 ERM rack using an add-on profile and an add-on instruction. We will configure the master using the ProSoft FTT configuration software. In this software, we will add a GSD file. This is the file that gives the master all of the slave's available parameters. And finally, we will add and configure one Profibus slave to send and receive data using the Profibus network. So let's begin. The first step will be installing the new add-on profile for the ProSoft family of products. This can be downloaded from our website or taken off of the product DVD. To start the install, we need to have all the Rockwell products closed, including RS Links. Double-click on MP Setup follow the prompts to finalize the installation. Once completed, we will open up Studio 5000. You can also use RS Logix 5000 version 16 or newer. Give your project a name and choose your controller. I'm using a 1769 L36 ERM. Click OK and it will launch your new project. Nothing will change if you have to add this to an existing project. First, we will add the module to the backplane by right-clicking on the 1769 bus and choosing New Module. Uncheck all vendors and check only the ProSoft Technology vendor. Then choose the ILX69 PBM and click Create. Give your module a name. I will choose PBM. Once completed, click OK. Now we need to install the add-on instruction to get this module talking to the processor and bring in some diagnostic data. Double click on the main routine. If you do not wish to install this in the main routine, it is okay, just make sure that routine is being called by the main routine. Right click on any rung and click import rungs. Choose the ILX69 PBM AOI. This can be found on the DVD ship with the module or from our website. Then click import. To make sure this AOI, or add-on instruction, is pointing at the right slot number, click on Tags and make sure that the local tags match up with where the module is. If your module was in, let's say, slot 2, you would need to change these to local 2i and o. Mine is in slot 1, so I will leave it at local 1. Then click OK. Once imported, delete any open rungs. After the import, you can see it added ladder logic, user defined data types, and controller tags. Let's look at those controller tags now. Double click on controller tags and expand ILX69 PBM data, then output. This array is where we send data to the slaves on the Profibus network. If you expand input, this is where the master will store the red data from the slaves. Below in the status section is where we can see those diagnostics I was talking about. Expand global state and you will find slave configured and slave state. Slave configured shows you what slaves you have configured with a one in the appropriate slave number. Slave state is a one for each of those slaves communicating. For my project, I will have a one in the fifth register for slave five is configured and slave five is communicating. Both of these arrays should match up. If not, you may have one or many slaves configured and not communicating. With that, we are done with Studio 5000. Click on communications, then click download. Now we have to configure the master. So let's open up the ProSoft FDT Configuration Manager. You can also get this software from the product DVD or the product web page. Start by clicking on New Project, then choose your module type and give your project a name. First, we will set up the IP address. To do this, the PBM must be on the same physical network as your PC. Click on the master, then click on the target device tab, then click on IP settings. This will automatically browse your network for this module. Verify the MAC address and then click next. Give your module a valid IP address and then choose finish. 
If you do not know a valid IP address, you may want to contact your network administrator. Now let's add a slave onto the Profibus network. The way to add a slave is by dragging and dropping them onto your network line from the device catalog. If you do not see your slave device in the device catalog, you need to add the GSD by clicking on the Network tab, then choose Import Device Description. Choose the GSD for your device and then click Open. Follow the prompts until installed. Your slave will then show up in the device catalog on the right. I prefer the vendor view to find my devices quicker. Once the slave is drug onto the network line, we can then add modules to designate how much data we want to exchange between the master and the slave. You do this by double clicking on the slave. The configuration is broken up into two parts, the available modules on top and the configured modules on bottom. Just highlight modules from the available or top section and then click on insert to get them into the configured or bottom section. For my configuration, I am reading the main process value from my meter and writing the display value to the meter, so I will locate those and insert them into the configured section. And then click OK. My meter is set to the next available slave address, which is 2. I need it to be 5, so I need to double click on the master, then choose the station table tab, here is where you can change the slave address for the nodes on your network. Once all configuration is done, we can download to the Profibus Master. To download to the module, we must assign the software to the hardware. To do this, click on the master, then choose Device Assignment on the left pane. Find your module and check the checkbox. Now go back to your network. Your device is now assigned to the hardware. Highlight the master, then click on the device tab, then click download. Once all your configuration is final and tested, you could store the configuration and the GSDs used in the configuration to an optional SD card used for quick project replication or disaster recovery. This step is not required for commissioning this product. To store the configuration, click on the master and then click on the target device tab then choose Store Configuration. For more information on this product or any of our other products, please visit us at our website at www.prosoft-technology.com. And as always, happy training.